All right, let's call Ben Higgins. We'll see if he answers. What's up, Zima? I've got a little mystery for you to solve. I'm here with someone you know. I want to see if you can guess who it is. Okay, this will be fun. She is very sweet. She loves dogs. Oh, she's a brunette. Uh, currently in a relationship. A very happy one. Jojo Fletcher. Ben, you are embarrassing yourself right now. It's time for Roses and Rosé with Becca wow. Kufrin. Hello. Oh, my queen. It's so good to see you. Thank so you for be being here. You. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to have you here. The last time I saw you, you were falling out of a plane. Yes. And today's a little more low-key. Yes. This However, is more chill. Is it? Because we got to see if you're going to answer these questions. Mm -hmm. Bring it on. Maybe I want to be skydiving mm -hmm. again. Okay, of course, this is Roses and Rosé Sip or Spill. I'm going to ask our beautiful bachelorette, Becca Kufrin, some questions, and she can either answer, spill, <laughs> or sip. Take a drink of our little Bachelor Nation tea. You're either going to sip the tea or spill it. Let's start cheers. with the cheers. Cheers. Oh, mm, mm. Minty fresh. Mm -hmm. We wanted to get some minty fresh tea. Pinkies up. Yes, because we were told that um, in the bachelor world, you're constantly being given like mints and Listerine strips. Oh, all the, all I, the time. I wanted to have a promotional like thing with Listerine because I put so many in my mouth throughout the season. Oh. <laughs> it sounded bad. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't, I mean, I was, you know when you're kissing. I love but. that you just said that because you're like the most PG <laughs> bachelorette. Well, and it's so weird because when you're filming, you, you can't eat, obviously, when you're on set. So right. it's like you have to go these weird hours without meals. And so half the time I'm like, can I just have a Listerine? I'm hungry. <laughs> That's all we had on us. So you're constantly popping the Listerine strips. Yes. Um, did you ever have a moment where you wish someone had popped one, but they had not on the show? Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to give a name, though. <laughs> you have to drink that. <laughs> because what? Are you still with that person? No. no you oh, no, it Garrett has such... It's so weird. He, his breath always smells good, even in the morning. Wow. And it's kind of annoying. Because, like, I'll wake up and I'll put the sheet over my face. And I'm like, hi, good morning. I love you. And he's like, hey, breathing on me. I'm like, it's not fair. Good morning, yeah. breath. What a treat. Okay, so who had the bad breath? I'm not going to say <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's uh, take it back and we'll ask you some questions about your time filming as The Bachelorette. All right. Sip or spill, what's one thing you wish you could take back or do differently from any of your time on reality television? Not say yes to the first engagement. And I choose you today, but I choose you every day from here on out. I mean, if I had to pick one, I would. <laughs> Cheers to that. Bye. <laughs> Everything else okay. I feel like had to play out as it did to. Well, that's end interesting though, but it because if you hadn't said yes, you wouldn't have been necessarily for sure been I know. Well, that's the truth. That's yeah. Hard. So I don't know, but. Uh, but I see what you're saying. Yeah. That's yours. That was pretty rough. I want to take the risk and see if there's a possibility with her. Oh, um, <laughs> actually, I got to ask you uh, Ari just said. Even though he was engaged to you at that point, he said he went on Winter Games because he wanted to see what was up with Lauren and he wanted to talk to producers about it. Did you see that? I heard that. Mm -hmm. um, I actually heard it from Rachel, um, which, and I, this is what I told her too. To me, it's such BS because when we were together, mm -hmm. I knew he felt bad about like how things ended. He felt guilty, which yeah. I get, because it's a very weird situation. But I was always like, you, you can go call her and like apologize and get that off your chest. It was never something mm -hmm. where I was like, you can't do that. So to me, it was weird um, in that regard. Also, there's like a lot more I think that I didn't ever know about that went down. So it's like at this part point in my life, I'm like, whatever. I was surprised he said that. And to hear him say that, it seems like he's just admitting that he was hiding feelings for another woman that he was having from yeah. you. Like it makes it all seem false. That's how it looks. I know, like many men, I think he was confused at that point. Okay. But what a beautiful kind. That was like the Southern woman saying of <laughs> bless his heart. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you guys ever talked again? No. Um, no, I mean, just like filming wise, yeah. but that was it. Yeah, yeah. nothing else. No. And I don't, you know. Mm -hmm. What would you say if you I ran into him? What? I don't even know what I would say. Like, yeah. I'd probably high five him and be like, "Yeah, you have a, he's a cute baby. He does, they cute. have a very cute baby. Yeah. Have you and Lauren ever talked? No. Mm -mm. And would, how would things be there? I think fine. Yeah. I mean, I think it'd be fine for me. I mean, at this point, like, they're happy. I'm very yeah. happy with Garrett that I don't think there's any, hopefully there's no bad blood there, but yeah. 
I don't know. I mean, in Bachelor Nation, it's like everybody runs into each other everywhere. At some you point, know, well, that's the thing. We're gonna we're gonna run into <laughs> yeah. each other at some point. I know it's bound to happen, but well, cheers to rising above. Well, thank you. And being very happy. Mm -hmm. And to you too. You're mm -hmm. very happy too. Thank you. We love being happy. We love a good man. Sip or spill. Who made the worst first impression on you ever in Bachelor Nation? This one's very easy. Um, so night one, his name is Camille. He went home night one. Yes. But he's the one who, he walked out of the limo and he's mm -hmm. like, let's meet 50-50. And I'm like, great, that's what I want in a partner. And then he's like. Well, actually, how about 60-40? And then like stepped away from me. And I was like, you should be coming closer to me. I remember that. I tweeted about that. that yeah, was, it was, that was so rude. Yeah. It was not okay. Who is the biggest diva in Bachelor Nation right now? I would say, well, and I love her, but I would say Demi. <laughs> just because she's like sassy. Lately, she's been wearing that like cute little pink fur coat. <laughs> she's a diva in a good way. Yes, diva yeah. Demi. We love yeah. a diva. Sip or spill, Blake, who you have a history with. I did love her. I just thought she loved me back. Well, a lot went down with Blake in Paradise, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of it originated at Stagecoach. Blake has said he's going to go back to Stagecoach. <laughs> Is this the right decision? <gasps> okay. <laughs> I keep saying this. You could not pay me enough to go to Stagecoach. So for me personally, I'd say no. But he is still single, and I think it's a good way for him to meet someone to potentially have a great night with. So maybe for him, yes. Depends on your priorities. Yeah, I would say, uh, okay. stay far, far away from stagecoach people. Mm -hmm. This is a woman who has her life together giving the advice. Mm -hmm. Here's my thing. I think it was all blown out of proportion. Okay. And this is why, like, he was single, the girls were single, like, they can do what they want. I think the thing that bit him in the butt is, I mean, he made his bed and he had to sleep in it in the same location as, like, multiple women. Um, so I probably would have approached it a little bit differently, but I mean like, hey, if you wanna do you and have fun at Stagecoach, do it. Okay. Like it, you know, in this day and age, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Should Blake go back on Paradise next summer? I think he should take a break okay. from um, maybe TV for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about uh, you and Garrett because you guys are so happy. We love how happy you are. Oh. So I think you're probably going to answer a lot of these. Um, you guys moved in together. Mm -hmm. What is the best thing about living with Garrett? I think the best thing being with him is just somebody to always do everything with. Mm -hmm. Like I love to cook, so I just enjoy having him sit and talk with me and like drink wine while I'm cooking. Um, also one of the best things is having our dog with us. So I feel like we're one little cute, happy family. All right, now we're gonna give you some rapid fires about life living Ooh. with Garrett. Okay. Becca Kufrin, sip or spill? Who's messier? Me. Who takes up most of the bed when you're sleeping? Minnow. Oh, the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Who is a bigger spender? Me, you, okay. definitely. I feel like Garrett's pretty simple. Garrett has like, <laughs> the same flannel shirt that he yeah. wears all the time. He doesn't need much. If you're arguing, who needs to have the last word? Me. What is the grossest thing Garrett's ever done in front of you? I mean, he goes to the bathroom in front of me all the time. We've gotten <laughs> to that point where we don't close the doors anymore. Do you fart in front of each other? Yes, yeah. <laughs> we, again, like, we have been with each other so much constantly on the road that, like, there's no, oh. we have no there's secrets no anymore. Uh -uh. What's one thing Garrett does that turns you on? <laughs> this is going to be a very weird one, okay. but he likes to rub my ears, oh my which gosh. feels really good. You're like a cute little dog yourself. I know. I, I Yeah, I'm a You're canine, like, basically. Rub my ears. <laughs> no, but he like just rubs my ears when we're laying there, and it just feels so good that like I like to snuggle in more and then kiss up on him. You're like, and, them yeah. before you know it. Yeah. There we are. You guys are never going to look at ear rubbing the same. <laughs> you know, you guys have been together for a while now. You're so happy. Have you talked more about the wedding stuff? No. No? Why <laughs> no. not? I think we're just taking our time. Okay. Um, I, I mean, he was, and he said this on the show, he was previously married and divorced, and so I never want him to feel rushed or pressured into anything. So I'm, I'm fine with where we're at. I'm kind of just waiting for him to be like, okay, like, let's hmm. do this now. Have you talked at all about what you would want one day when that comes? A little bit. I think when that day comes, we just want it to be a massive party. Okay. Like, I want it to be, like, 
food trucks all over and games and just like one massive party. And so that's what we've talked about. I think we would like to do it in California on a vineyard, but then just like mm -hmm. cater in all these trucks and have like cornhole and I really want ski ball. Okay. So like fun things like that. Wow. Like little de details. Is this a TV wedding in your mind? Televised? I'm not going to say yes or no, mm -hmm. but as of right now, probably not. Okay. Yeah. Fair. God, but I'm, I'm looking at your ring. I forgot oh. how beautiful this ring is. Thank you. I mean, I mean, I mean Neil Lane knows what I he's mean. doing. Neil, hello. That's a good one. But let's do some sipper spills about you going on tour. Okay. So you're going tour for Bachelor Live on stage. Yes. 66 stops with you and Ben Higgins together. Is this correct? Yes. Are you sharing a tour bus? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's what, that's like the one thing everyone asks. We have separate tour buses because Garrett's going to be with me with, oh my gosh, I cannot talk. He'll okay. be with me part of the time. <laughs> Jessica will be with Ben. I'm like, we need our alone time. Okay, you didn't so. want to do like a... No, that that would be too close for comfort. Yeah, yeah. it's like and uh, like you know if there's only one bathroom on the bus, I'm uh, like I'm not. We're not all sharing it. Force company. Yeah. How is it going co-hosting with Ben? What have you learned about Ben? I mean, Ben's awesome at what he yeah. does. We have to learn like our lines, our staging, changes, choreography, everything, and he's just really good about picking everything up so quickly, but like making everyone around us feel comfortable too. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, dang, I have some big shoes to fill here. <laughs> All right, uh, sip or spill, will we have cameos from other Bachelor alumni on the tour? We will. We will. Yes, hopefully a lot. All right, I wanna play a little trick on Ben right now. We're gonna try to call Ben and see if he can guess who I'm with. <laughs> and if he doesn't get it, it's like, Ben, you better get to know your co-host. Better get to know me real quick. All right, Sometimes. let's call Ben Higgins. We'll see if he answers. He's probably like doing something for charity. I know. <laughs> He's down in the Honduras. Probably, yeah. Some coffee. Yeah, hanging out with his mom or doing something nice. Yeah, doing something nice for his girlfriend. Wow. What's up, Zima? Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, I've got a little mystery for you to solve. I'm here with someone you know, and uh, I want to see if you can guess who it is. Okay, this will be fun. All right. She is very sweet. <laughs> Um, she loves dogs. Getting any hints yet? She's, uh, oh, she's a brunette. Okay. Loves wine. Oh boy, Caitlin Bristow. Mm, is she a brunette? I don't know, got a lot of highlights. Eh, wrong. Okay, what else can I give you? Uh, currently in a relationship. A very happy one. Jojo Fletcher. Ben, you are embarrassing yourself right now. This is somebody. You're not great hints. Okay, you're right. I'm gonna try to get more specific. Um, had one of the worst breakups in Bachelor history. A really rough one, but now very happy. Becca Kufrin. Crushed it! Oh God! <laughs> Finally, Ben, <laughs> you're about to spend three months with me. <laughs> We're I wasn't getting great hints. They, well, I was trying to make it hard for you, but I, I'm really concerned about what you think a brunette is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Becca. Hello, Ben. How are you? I'm so good. Okay, Ben, how are you going to be as a tour mate for 66 stops with Becca Kufrin? Oh, awful. It's going to be really <laughs> bad for her. But, like, bad. Can't and, wait. <laughs> bad and, yeah, bad in, like, a annoying, like, brother way. Great. It's okay. I'm going to be the annoying sister. So <laughs> it'll be wonderful. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Wow. He sucked at that. Man. There's some work to do with him. All right. We got some work tour. to do. Luckily, you have a lot of tour stops to do with it. We cannot wait. Everybody, go get your tickets for the tour. Becca and Ben are going to be adorable. So much fun. And you can see someone find love. And see me dance. And see her dance. All right, <laughs> let's finish our tea. Becca Kufrin, cheers to you. Thanks cheers. for playing Sip or Spill. Thanks, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Oh, can you say bye with me? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Bye. bye.